phase one. This is up to a week. This is the initial phase. You're putting um, yourself in, in a preparatory phase to accept the HCG. Um, you are going to eat. Um, what I suggest is whatever you're going to miss the most. We all have our, our vices. Some people it's alcohol, some people it's food, some people it's chocolate cake. Whatever your vice is, I would strongly suggest having as much of it as you would like before this. This also lets you to study the protocol, in other words, to look over everything and plan it out. This is, this is an intentional diet. Okay, the beauty of it though is with all of your planning that is not food related, it turns into a lot of benefits afterwards and a lot of activity modification. Phase two, okay, now phase one, it says up to a week, we always suggest two days of fat loading, you start the injections that day, okay? There is an oral form out there, it hasn't shown as good as results as the injections, okay, so I don't suggest it at this point. Phase two is either going to be a three or a six week plan. Okay, you're already going to decide how much weight you want to lose. The beauty of, of it is if you're happy at three weeks that you've lost the weight that you wanted to lose, you can stop at that point and go to the next phase. If you feel that you want to do the full six week plan, you can still do that. It's not something that you have to tone yourself down from. Most people will find themselves plateauing at about two to three weeks, and some people think, well, that's all my body's supposed to lose. Mm -hmm. We encourage them not to stop, to continue if their weight loss is what they want to do. There are ways that we can stimulate you to lose more weight. Phase three, when you're done your six-week um, prison sentence, uh, you know, when, when you finish with the injections, when you're not allowed to have any alcohol, when you're eating the, the right foods, you need to go to a phase three. It's just as important as any of the other two phases because if you screw it up then, then you're not going to have the results of the desired effect. And what you start to do is you start to incorporate oils back into your diet. You start to incorporate sugars You start to and, and carbs. You start to incorporate these things. You start to have higher portions than, than what you start out with. Phase four is the lifetime thing, and, and that, that's where I'm at right now uh, with this because it's really changed the way we, we eat around our household and the way we think about things. You would think that doctors are very smart individuals, but I can guarantee you we can preach three meals a day, eight hours of sleep, no smoking, no drinking. I'll guarantee you anybody that's ever gone to medical school, smoked, drank, never ate three meals a day, never got eight hours of sleep. So I think, you know, we're, we're kind of hypocritical when it comes to that kind of stuff, and with this, and with how just great we feel, um, I, I just need to get this out there and, and, and turn some people onto it. What do we need for this diet? A food scale. Invest. Go to Ruby or Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday morning. <laughs> uh, odd lots. Go get yourself a cheap food scale. What are you? What are you weighing? You're weighing your protein. So that's your meats. You're going to have three and a half ounces of whatever meat you want. Chicken. You go to Sam's Club, you get the chicken uh, breast, the boneless one. They're all about three and a half ounces. Um, the, the fish that they have there, it's all prepackaged. They're all about three and a half ounces. But buy the scale just so that you can get yourself into knowing what three and a half ounces is. Having been through the diet, I know two mini burgers are three and a half ounces. I know half of a lobster tail is about three and a half ounces. I know that I can have uh, a chicken uh, filet over at the hospital, and if I eat three quarters of it, that's about three and a half ounces. It's four jumbo shrimp, five small shrimp. You know, you, you get used to what makes up three and a half ounces, but I strongly advise getting the scale. A digital scale, very important. That's what you're gonna weigh yourself every morning on. As soon as you get up in the morning, you pee, you poop, you strip down, and you get on a scale. That's how you start your day, every day. And what this is for is so that you can get your baseline and you can give yourself a little mental enema every day just how good you're doing, okay? It's very important to, to weigh yourself daily. Same time, make it happen. A multivitamin, everybody has to take a multivitamin. It doesn't matter which one you take. Men over 50, men health, whatever you, whatever multivitamin you want to take, you're going to be taking them twice a day. You're going to need to take magnesium, which is a supplement. You're going to have to take potassium. Okay, these are very essential nutrients that you have to take. Uh, there's two other ones that are out there. One is L-carnitine, and one is L-glutathione. They're called free radical scavengers. 
when, when I like to think of free radicals as, as the body oxidizing itself, it's rusting. Okay, and what these do is these are circulating through your system and anything that's wearing out in your body, it eliminates that. These are all available at a health food store. They're, you know, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you want. You can get them wherever you want to. And they're not terribly expensive. The glutathione tends to be a little bit more expensive, but they call it the mother of all antioxidants. So I would strongly advise taking that. What about all the other stuff that we're taking now? Anybody else spend about 300 bucks at GNC every month? Because every time there's a new article that comes out that something does this, pomegranate, this, acai, um, garlic, uh, ginkgo, uh, fish oil, vitamin E, those are all wonderful things, but you need to put them somewhere else because you can't have them when you're on this diet. Why? They're oils. You don't want them in your system. No oil, no sugar, no, no cream, nothing. Yes? Calcium, you can, you can still take calcium and you can still take all of your other medications provided they're not oils. They're, like I say, the, the vitamin E's and the fish oils, they're good for you, but you can have them. Yes? B12. B12 is fine. It's a vitamin. Yes? B10. Uh, I would stay away from it. Uh, again, the, the, and we'll go later about all the other things that I think that you should be taking that you can start to embrace as you go back. Um, but for, the, for, for this committed time of three to six weeks, stay away from all that stuff. It's not gonna make a difference in your health, okay? Uh, a lot of the glucosamines, chondroitins, and all that stuff, they have sugars in them, especially the liquid that I've told you all about at the office. Stay away from that, okay? And, and you're gonna see some results. But your other medicines that you're on, your thyroid stuff, your blood pressure stuff, your diabetic medication, all of that stuff you can still continue to take. Fat loading. Here are the good things to eat. Milk chocolate, pastries with whipped cream sugar, fried meats, especially pork. Yummy. Bacon and eggs, mayonnaise, bread with butter and jam and more butter. Very important to fat load. It's going to decrease your hunger. By God, I tell you, by the time we finished fat loading, I didn't want to see food. <laughs> And I knew I did my job right. <laughs> Eat what you miss the most, whatever your crutch is. For, for me, it's, it's just meat of any kind with fat on it. Just meat. Um, for my wife, it was chocolate cake. So we had a couple of those in those two days. Uh, we had ice cream, we had Ben and Jerry's, we had haagen we had anything we wanted. It was good. What are you going to stay away from? Anything in a can, a box, or a jar. Processed meats, you're going to learn that you want to stay away from those. Even borsat, as great as it is, it's processed meat. You want to stay away from that kind of stuff when you're in the fat loading phase. And you're going to start thinking organically. Um, you're not going to hell if you don't eat organic stuff, but there's something to be said for stuff that is organically grown. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but uh, you can actually tell some flavors that are different. So a lot of this is going to be towards detoxifying your body, as well as maybe getting on a little bit of uh, uh, the organic train. Apples. Apples are going to be um, very important for you to eat for two reasons. One, they're yummy, and two, they help your bowels. Okay, there's two types of fiber out there. There's a soluble fiber and an insoluble fiber. Apples possess both that bulk you up, but also give you um, the motility to, to, to um, have your bowel movements. Almond butter, nuts, heavy sauces, um, avocados, cream cheese, any other cheeses, olives, salmon, coconut oil, olive oil, eggs. Weight gain is normal during these two days. Expect to gain a couple of pounds. It's okay, because you're gonna lose a buttload afterwards, okay? So that two, four pounds, whatever, whatever you're doing initially, it's okay. You're committed and you're gonna do well. Exercise. I know it's going to break all your hearts, but you really shouldn't exercise when you're on this diet. Why? Why? Reason why we don't exercise during this diet is because when we exercise, our body usually burns, we burns fat and uses that fat for energy during exercise. But here's the deal. You're taking a medication, the HCG, and you're taking it to tell your body that unlock all your fat stores, so use that for energy, but then you're confusing it by doing any kind of aerobic exercises. 
Okay, you really want to do some strength training, aerobic, short burst kind of stuff? Yes. Do you lose muscle mass in this diet? No. I didn't lose anything. My wife had started to exercise again. She stopped. And it was tough for her because she was getting into the Zumba and the, the Pilates and all that kind of stuff. Um, but again, this is a commitment. Put it on a calendar. For six weeks, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself up to this thing. And it's going to do its work. And then I'm going to be better later on. I'm going to show you pictures at the end. But I lost 53 pounds in six weeks. She went from a size 18 down to a or size 14 down to a sorry. Size, <laughs> she went from a size 14 down to a size 8. Okay, this stuff works. Never a day of hunger on my part. She had a day or two where she was a little bit hungry, and we'll go into why. But it's phenomenal. Yes. Uh, you said no aerobic exercise because it, um, you're burning. It burns fat, doesn't it? Uh, Weight resistant exercise burn fat also? No, you use two different systems. In the first uh, 30 seconds of an exercise, it's anaerobic. Your body's cell at the cellular level is working on an anaerobic, a without oxygen kind of a system. Once you go past that, you are now into aerobic, and that's where, you, where, where it burns it off. Now, there are people that are on this diet that are still exercising, and that's fine, but they might not lose as much as they would normally.